Hi everyone, I'm Song Meng Sing and this is Daniel Ye. We are proud to present to you our presentation for the Coast Space Rescue Finals. We are Team Nanyang One and our team ID is SG6041. We are from Singapore and we both have sound coding experience in Scratch, C++ Code and RoboCup Singapore 2021 Open, while Meng Sing has experience in Microsoft Arcade, MIT App Inventor and Python. We have learned many important skills in the preliminary stage, such as coding with unfamiliar maps, developing efficient strategies, and patience when the codes do not work. In this presentation, we will be going through task analysis, map analysis, coding the code and the, the code out in the game, and testing and retrying. Task analysis. The aim is to collect as many objects as possible, which gives you points. If you collect two of each, you get a super object. The challenge can be broken down into different mini tasks, such as finding objects, avoiding traps, avoiding walls, and depositing objects. Since collecting one set of red, black, and cyan, RCB, gives you a super object, and collecting two sets of RCB gives you a super plus object, we will deposit when we have at least a set of cyan, black, and red, such as in the picture, so that we can at least guarantee a super object. Loader red calc implement the variables. Loader red calculates the number of red objects loaded on the robot. Loaded cyan calculates the number of cyan objects loaded on the robot. Loader black calculates the number of black objects loaded on the robot. Loaded super calculates the number of super and super plus objects loaded on the robot. And super on map calculates the total number of super and super plus on the map. We will elaborate on these further later. Moving on to basic functions, our optimal speed was 70 due to trial and error. For traps, if loader objects equals to zero, the robot drives over them, and if loader objects is greater than zero, the robot will avoid traps. Continuing with basic functions, we only deposited when at least the set of RCB to guarantee a super object, or we deposit when loaded super is greater than zero. Super objects are worth 90 points and are very helpful to boost our points. Under normal conditions, our robot makes a pivot turn with ratios minus 10 and 25. This is the best ratio due to, from trial and error as it can help collect objects faster and more efficiently. When the super on map is greater than zero, our turning ratio changes such that we can collect the super objects faster as these objects spawn at 15 cm away from the wall. Again, this result is achieved by trial and error. We will elaborate more on the pseudocode section. Moving on to the warm-up map analysis, this is the warm-up map as shown. At first, our robot turns left as there are a lot of RCB to collect there from there. We can get up to a RCB and deposit to get a super object efficiently that way. Because of this, we can deposit within the first 30 seconds of the game. Next, the green marker on top of the map is really helpful for us. The robot can make use of this to make a pivot turn into the special blue zone to get some cyan objects if we have none of them. Our main deposit zone is the one on the right. It is easier to access. It is easier to access this zone as we can make use of the green marker to turn into it. The area where the 2021 flag and the wall is sometimes where the robot gets stuck because it gets confused from all the conditions set. We have already refined the code to fix this already. Overall, our highest score is 1,800. This is the preliminary map, which is hard, which was the harder of the two. We make use of the top purple marker to turn back down so that the robot can collect cyan and black objects if it has not already done so. Although the robot does so, we still have occasional problems of not being able to collect black or cyan objects. Our main deposit zone is the one lower on the map. This is so as we follow a certain route to get to that zone and our turning ratio complements that. This makes depositing quite efficient. The robot may get also get get stuck in the area of two traps circled in red, as it will keep avoiding traps and turn away from walls. We will elaborate on how we solve this on the debugging slide. In this map, we turn 180 degrees down first, so it can collect the objects below and make use of the purple marker. Overall, our highest score is 1,310. 
After splitting the map, these X and Y coordinates help us to navigate our robot to certain areas, and it is used to help us set advanced conditions efficiently. For instance, we used it in the trap code to avoid traps to enter a deposit zone. We only applied this to one trap, as applying it on the other trap will make it to our disadvantage. So we use X and Y coordinates to code it. The following is our flow chart of the robot's priorities. In a nutshell, the code priority goes like this. Touching trap, touching wall, touching deposit with the right conditions, collect RCB and move forward. On a side note, the conditions for depositing are when loaded silver is greater than zero, all loaded red, loaded cyan, and loaded black are greater than zero. We also had some pseudocode for instances when the robot sees a wall and when the robot sees a trap. Oh wait, for instance, when the robot sees a wall and when the robot sees a trap, it changes ratio from negative 40, 40 to negative 5 and 10. We had pseudocode for the turning ratio when the robot sees a trap. The default will be negative 40, 40, which is more useful for finding objects. But in position x0, y1, it will be negative 5 and 10. Sometimes debugging. Sometimes objects of a certain color cannot be found, so we make use of surrounding markers, turning ratios, or simple square targeting to find objects more efficiently. The robot also gets stuck at traps. Thus, we change the turning ratio to make it more efficient. We also decrease our speed. Sometimes the robot is stuck at the bottom, so we turn away from the zone earlier using the green marker and only came in when we had to deposit objects. This is the video of our code running. We hope you will enjoy it. We did well, but we could have gotten more science, which we could have done through square targeting. If we could do this challenge again, we would use a better algorithm and use C code. We would also like to learn from Team SG1713 from Singapore Open, as their codes were consistently good and could get high scores. From this challenge, we gained important values such as time management, perseverance, discipline, and diligence. We also had lots of fun. We learned how to program an intelligent AI robot to collect and deposit objects in a strategic manner. We had lots of help from the RCAB YouTube channel and our teacher, Mr. Lin Wei Triad. With that, we have come to the end of our presentation. We hope that you have enjoyed it. And please give this video a like.